Hello guys, welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today we are going to design something which you might have seen or not seen, I'm not sure, but you are going to learn in this particular video. So actually we are going to work with the map styling. So we are going to apply different styling to that and like the light theme, the dark theme or some different type of colors which you might see in a taxi application. All right, so this kind of stuff we are going to implement and trust me, uh, I think you might be liking that kind of stuff. So for reference, I am taking the route, Google Maps routing, how we draw the line between the two points. I am taking that particular video into consideration. If you want to check that video, you can just click on the I button and you will get redirected to that particular video where you can get the source code also in that particular video description. description. All right. so. Moving ahead, I have created a new project and I have copied and pasted the whole code out here. Now, after doing that, I just changed the title to map style instead of draw polyline. And if you do not know how to create a new project, well, this is the command which you need to use for creating a new project, which you can see out here in the screen. Then you simply need to scroll to the bottom and get inside the project folder, type the CODE to get inside the Visual Studio Code. If you're using that, if you're using some other code editor, then you don't need to do that up, all right? Moving ahead, let's start with the styling part now. So this was our earlier style. Let's try to change it up. So for doing that up, I will simply go to the map component.ts file. But before that, I want to tell you that tsconfig.json file you need to set strict to false if you don't want any type of errors based on TypeScript. Okay. Now in the map.component.ts file, well, what exactly I'm going to do at first, let me just show you up. So at first I'm going to change the markers. So for the markers, earlier we were using this particular URLs. This time we are not going to use the URL. Instead of that, I already have one in my assets folder. In the IMGs folder, I have this particular image, which I'm going to use right now. So for doing that up, I'll go to the map.component.ts file. Let me just close it up. And instead of this two, I have already written the code. So I'll simply comment this uh, the earlier one and uncomment this up and you will see a different stuff out here, but the size is not that great. So for resizing, I'll simply change it to 30 and 30. Okay. Now you just check it out. I'm sure you must be liking that up. All right. Once that is done, even the line which we have out there, which is blue color, I'll change that. Where is it? Actually, I just have to search for it. Let me search directly. B L U E. Okay. I found it. Let me change it to black. There we go. And the stroke weight, let me just reduce it to four. I think that would be better. Yes, I'm liking that. All right, after that is done, what else do I need to do? Well, nothing else out here except the main part, which is to change the map styling. So map styling is very much important, which we need to work with because this kind of styling is a default styling that is provided by the Google Maps, but we can change that up. All right, so I'll just show you the brief description how you can do that up. Not, we won't go in depth of it because there are a lot of things and trust me, uh, even few things, even I don't know, I have just tried it up and I could do that. I have already tried the grayscale one, which is like the black and white mode in my course, in my IONIQ courses, which are already available in Udemy. You can just check that out. Links are there in the description. So out there, I have already tested it up and it works great. Now this time I'm going to try something different. Let's do that up. So for doing this up, we need to do something out here in our code. So let me just scroll down to the map one. Where is it? I have to search it. Okay. This is the map one. At first I'm going to change zoom to be 18. I want to zoom a little bit more. Fine. Then I'm going to have something map type control, zoom control and full screen control to be disabled. And let's check that out. If I don't give that, you will see some buttons. Okay. Okay. It's not available. I think uh, disable default UI. Okay. 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 I have already given that. I don't need anything else. All right. So that's pretty okay. We don't have that stuff. That's pretty fine. Actually, I didn't remember that. Don't need to worry. Let's move ahead and work with the other property, which is very important for us, which is the style. So in this, we need to pass an array. So the styling needs to be passed in the form of an array. That's what it's going to take. Now for doing that up, let me define a property out here called map style, which will be of type any array. Okay. Initially it will be an empty array and I'm going to pass that up directly where it is out here. This dot map style. So now you see there is no difference at all. Now we are going to work with that map style one. 
let's go let's start working with that so at first i'm going to work with the light theme so for the light theme let me show you what exactly i'm going to apply so let's go to our service and in this service uh i'll use something out here so out here i'm going to use some properties called map style light then i'm going to have map style dark dark or yeah dark theme is fine now the third one will be map style how do we say that upper application let me keep it as map style only map style custom let's call it custom okay so this will be the three properties that i'm going to use and i'm going to pass the array out there and don't worry about my thumb well i just got injured a little bit now for our custom one let me simply pass the value which is this particular one scroll to the top why there is an error because i didn't give an equal sign now the error is gone so basically i'm using out here the element type geometry stylers the colors are being passed okay similarly out here for the styler second one visibility of a lot of stuffs actually it's being done so that is why it's a complete array you can go through that and you can try some combination out here and change it up as per your requirement okay a lot of stuffs are being if you can see this is a very big array fine where each and every part is being covered up so you can play around with your own stuff i won't go in depth for explaining this but trust me i just tried it up like i told you i i have not gone in depth of it so i thought like making a video for you guys so that's why i'm making this up now i'll simply minimize it up so that it, it gets reduced to a great extent now i'm going to give the styling for the dark and light mode also and then we are going to start working with it now it's time for the dark one for the dark one let me simply pass this particular one scroll to the top again let's go quickly here also i need to give the equal sign the error is gone out here also you can see element type geometry stylers the colors are being given so this is how it is being maintained same way you can just go ahead and check that out like i said earlier now once that is done i think the only one that is left is light mode let's go for that also pretty quickly and then we are going to implement that up one by one in our map and see how it looks like okay well i think i did a mistake uh this will be map style light mode actually because their color is different so i think i need to change this to light and this will be the custom one all right now for the custom one also i'm going to paste remove one extra colon now semicolon is removed now i simply have the custom one out here where we have a different color then what's wrong okay then for the dark one we have this one and for the light one we have this particular one i think now it looks pretty fine so we have three areas now we need to simply toggle and check it out which one works better for us so for doing that up i'll go to the map component.ts file let me close this up and out here what am i going to do instead of passing our map style i don't think i need the map style i can simply remove it i suppose yes let's remove it up now instead of this map style i'm going to pass this dot maps dot i will simply call the light mode at first let's check it out now you see the color is changed right of the map and it's looking lovely it's the lighter color because the background is light everywhere it is light and in between that we have our markers and the line in between so according to me it's great then you can simply change the line color and everything also like i have already shown you similarly let's apply the dark one and see what is the difference between the two let's try that out all right it's changed and you can see it's a dark one that's looking awesome right because we have all the background of the map and each everywhere it's darker right so for the dark theme you can simply use it up that's working pretty nicely and you can see everything is coming up out here what exactly you can give for the dark style all right now it's time to check the custom one are you excited to watch that up i'm excited are you comment me below before going ahead now i'll just go for the custom one and there we go you can see the design has changed and it's looking pretty light mode means lighter and much better i would say now there are a lot of stylings that you can implement out here like i said i have just tried a few of those you can go ahead and try a lot of stuff with this particular arrays which i have already passed out here for the custom one like you can do you can change the colors of course you can do that up because colors are the main part and which 
portions or which things you don't want in the map you can simply uh, make it invisible or work with that like out here the lightness is being passed the colors the, all the colors are changed which colors are changed landscape dot man meet or whatever uh, well <laughs> if i go on explaining everything one by one it's going to be a long video and in fact trust me few things even i am not sure what it is all about because i have not gone in depth of it like i said i have just seen somewhere um, in the internet well with that we can change the map style even i didn't know i just knew that like we can just pass grayscale or some of the properties i knew but i didn't try a lot of stuff then when i came to know i just tried a little bit and i came with this particular design which is lovely according to me so you can just try this up and let me also know in the comment section how you like this particular video all right and you can just try changing few of the stuff and see where, how it comes up for you for me, I think I'm happy with this particular one to work with. So this was the fun part in this particular video. This was a short video, but very much useful according to me. Let me know in the comment section whether my thinking is right or not. And few of you have already commented uh, to make some videos. I am thinking over it. Don't worry if I find it useful. Definitely, I'll make a video on that too. So with that being said, I'll wrap up this video right here, right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.